Hi, this is Chad. Today I'm at Iskwa High School, and I've got a more sobering subject, school safety. Now, in 2011, when I was on the school board, a 51-year-old Maple Valley man was shot and killed by local law enforcement just outside this school when he opened fire with two rifles. Meanwhile, 150 people were attending a youth football game in the stadium right behind me. Two years later, during my first term in the legislature, I was meeting with a student here in the Commons area, and we ended up in the middle of a security lockdown. We knew it wasn't a drill, but it wasn't until about a half hour later that the good guys with guns showed up and told us we were safe again. These kind of experiences allow you some opportunity to think about school safety. Now on the school board, we invested millions in access control, electronic locks, video surveillance. We actually remodeled several of our schools so that the main offices were located right at the main entrances so they could control access. When King County dropped support for the school resource officer program, we picked up the entire tab because we really believed it was effective. In the legislature, I've supported some common sense gun reform issues, and my NRA rating is actually the same as the House Majority Leader, a Democrat. I supported the ban on bump stocks, and I voted for House Bill 1840, which allowed us to disarm people subject to restraining orders. A similar bill in 2016 was an initiative 1491, and that passed with over 70% support in the 5th Legislative District. The important thing here as a moderate, though, is that we achieve some balance, school safety and constitutional rights. I support the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, in its entirety, not just the Second Amendment. And that includes the Fifth and Fourteenth Amendments, which guarantee due process before we deprive anyone of life, liberty, or property. It's also important to keep things, these things in context. If you look at the last 15 years of CDC data, school shootings account for only 0.06% of student deaths. What's number one, you might ask? Well, vehicular accidents. So probably the best thing you can do to keep your students safe is to put them on the bus rather than letting them drive to school. But I've been focused on number two. When you look at the 15 to 19 year old range, suicides account for 25% of student deaths. But in, in the uh, state of Washington, that actually goes up to 37%. And that should be disturbing to you. And the trends are not going in the right direction. In the Issaquah School District, what we did is build a relationship with Swedish Issaquah to put mental health counselors in all of our comprehensive high schools, really trying to get to the core issues of bullying and suicide. And I think that's having an impact. But I'm looking for broader solutions. How do we get to the core issues here that are driving these kids to commit suicide and to retaliate against their tormentors? So I want to open the discussion. I'm really interested in your thoughts. This is not an easy problem, or we would have solved it long ago. But let me know what you think, and I look forward to reading your comments below.